Hello everyone, I am Yash Patel and welcome to my channel Django World. So in today's video, we are going to see cursor pagination. And this pagination is a bit different from the previous two paginations. Okay. Previous two type of the pagination. So this pagination also take care of your ordering. Alright. Ordering of your data. So if you have ordering filter in your class, then this cursor pagination is going to give you an error. Because by default, this pagination look for the created field in your database. If you don't have that, then you have option to overwrite that particular field and pass the date field which you have implemented in your database. All right. So let's go to the VS code. Comment this one out. Copy this one. I mean the class name and also import cursor pagination I'll say class blog list pagination and I'll say cursor pagination okay what happened yeah done now here you can say page underscore size equals to let's say 2 for now just save this and come over here and refresh okay so my server is not started so i'll say run server refresh over here now you can see we have error so let's go to views.py and remove this ordering i'll just comment it and uh, i'll also you know remove this filter dot ordering filter that should be fine and yeah we don't have keyword created in our database that what I, I was talking about okay so we can go to pagination and here we have one more variable which is ordering equals to now here let's go to models.py if you remember we have post underscore date so we'll just grab that and paste that over here save it come over here and refresh now here you can see in next url cursor equals to you can see this unique id now here is the catch we cannot define the page number in this if you want to define the size then you can define it from here but we cannot if directly go ahead and write the page number as we were writing over here let's say page one like page equals to two and all those things something like this okay we cannot do that because cursor has only next and previous that's it if you click on the next link you will go to the next if you click on the previous you will go to the previous but let me come over here and just send the cat request but you do have option to you know let me see first <laughs> okay you do not have option to rewrite the page size also okay so let me go ahead and do check that you don't have size parameters then you will not have the page size thing yeah you don't have that option too so you will you need to play with next and previous button and if you want to add more features then you can do something like this okay so this is very short and simple cursor pagination and this is it for this you do not need to know more for this pagination type okay so yeah this is it for today's video guys if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel and let's check out which concept we have not discussed okay so let's see thoughtering caching this is advanced stuff i think we are done with the basic beginner friendly topics for the django rest framework and here we conclude the django rest framework series so i hope you enjoyed this django rest framework uh, series and you have grabbed some informative ideas or the knowledge from this series and uh, if you have any comments for me 
or any improvement idea which can improve my video quality or my speech or anything else please let me know in the comments out below it would be more helpful for me and please show some support subscribe to my channel for more amazing content for django python so yeah this is it for this video and thank you so much for watching